his career, we felt like I can finally do what I've always wanted to do. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Hi there. Um. Hello, I am a dragon. Good, good dragon. Hey buddies! Welcome back to Chris and Andy Play. My name is Chris. My name is Andy. Today we're going to play some Final Fantasy IX. We were talking about uh, Avatar, uh, Last Airbender, uh, the the show, and uh, and Andy was going to talk about something. Uh, yeah, this definitely could have gone into the last episode. Oh. I was just going to say the Buffy comics that are essentially supposed to be like a season yeah. nine uh, were terrible. <laughs> and that's all. Like I I started reading them and I was just like, oh, this is bad. Yeah. <laughs> this is bad. I don't like it. I'm so disappointed. Uh, should have just should have just ignored the fact that they exist. Mm. Well, it's it's you got to take those risks. Yep. You know, it's a shame that comics has become like a medium that's sort of dying at this point in time. There was a point in time, like before television, where it was like a huge, huge thing in the North American market, uh, and we just sort of never kept up with it. It, it, it kind of just sort of. There was a bunch of legal stuff that got in the way, and that's kind of sad. Oh my God. And uh, we just don't have the same kind of thing that we have, like overseas, and like the manga, uh, the manga stuff is just—it's amazing that that's still happening. It's like newspapers, just like everybody's reading them on the, like everywhere, and there's like a book for everybody. And I, I think that would be really cool if we had that kind of stuff today. But yeah, that's where like a. Uh... Japan's a lot cooler than us in that sense with the like manga and all that because I mean there's a crazy there's a, so much manga and like tons of stuff get turned into anime mm -hmm. so it's like man it'd be great if like we had new shows coming out like every season there would be like five six brand new shows based on like comics and, and books and yeah. stuff that we like but not the case. Well, the other thing that kind of sucks is like the North American comic market, like they're so afraid of change that nothing new comes out of it. Like we're, fight these we're dealing with like, you know, the last new property was like 30 years ago kind of thing. You know, that's kind of, and it's all like superheroes. There's no like other types of variant of stories and like all the superhero stories, like everything's been told already. Every story that could have been told for these heroes, it's done. And it's been done over and over again. And, um, and it's grown very stagnant. And it's unfortunate. Like, I mean, if you like it, that's great. It's fantastic that there's still more stories about Batman coming out. There's still going to be more Daredevil stories and stuff like that. And that's cool. But I'd really like to see some new things happen. And I, I think that's... And, and, and even with, like, now we got movies of this stuff coming out. And it's re revamping that. And that's kind of pretty cool. But it would be really neat to see, like, you know, where's the, where's the next Batman, you know? Where's the next Spider-Man? You know, that kind of stuff just doesn't seem to... Probably won't happen, you know? Yeah. It's unfortunate. It'd be cool, though. It'd be really cool if we could see that kind of stuff sort of take off. But then you do get some stuff like The Walking Dead show up, you know? That really changes a lot of things, and, and that's become very big. So, who knows? Maybe, you know, like, we're, we're at an interesting point with, like, independent, like, publishing. So, they're, you know, 10 years... Another one. Oh, look at that. Weird. Ten years down the future, like, you know, from now, maybe we'll see, like, there's tons of independent comics and new properties and all kinds of stuff because it's easier than ever for, like, independent people to sort of make whatever, whatever they want to make and uh, and get it out to people. And that's kind of, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would love, uh, I would love an animated series based on Invincible. Oh, my God. Yeah, why not? Great. Invincible's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I totally watched that. Um, I don't think there are, like there really haven't been a lot of animated series from the Image line of stuff at all. Like a lot or any at all. I'm not entirely sure if there have. Like, I, I feel like there's probably been something, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Like, I, I want to say that there's probably something like mid '90s because they they had like that's where Image got its big boom with like the early '90s. So. That's that's kind of when they, they got off the ground and started doing stuff. So I imagine like maybe like I don't know if 90, I 95 through 97 there was like they probably tried something and it didn't happen. There was a lot of animated stuff going on at that point in time too. So might have happened. Doesn't seem to happen that much anymore. Actually, just traditional animation in general is almost costly. Is it's almost too costly to do nowadays. 
Um, but it's neat to see, like, all the DC stuff coming out. Like, they're coming out as movies instead of television Oh, shows. and they're all so good. Yeah. I love, I mean, like, I don't need another several episodes dedicated to me, like, fanboying over the DC animated stuff. But, um, yeah, as much as the DC live action movies tend to suck and the Marvel live action movies, at least nowadays, are very good, uh, the Marvel animated stuff, from what I hear, is not good. The DC animated stuff is, like, awesome. Um... Yeah, like, I, 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 don't, uh, I don't know who does the Marvel animated stuff, but I know like Warner Brothers, like when they they kind of have their hand in things, they they purchased a whole bunch of DC at some point or something. They have they have a big tie, so it's like Warner Brothers Animation has been doing that for a like, very long time now. Yeah, yeah, since way back like early '90s when they started with like Batman. Uh, yeah, that was '91. I think they might have even started a little bit earlier than that. I'm not entirely certain on that. What show came out before Batman? <sighs> I think good. <laughs> no, well, actually, you know what I'm thinking is that, like, Warner Brothers picked up the Batman license in the late 80s. Or, sorry, early 80s. So, that's kind of when that stuff started. And, uh, Warner Brothers was doing, like, just a huge, huge amount of, like, animation back then. So, you got, like, Pinky and the Brain and Animaniacs and all kinds of stuff going on. And they just sort of did things. It was really cool. Tiny Toons. Do you remember Tiny Toons? Yeah, I love Tiny oh, Toons. I love Tiny Toons. All, the, all those Warner Brothers cartoons Spielberg produced were uh, really good. Oh, they're phenomenal. Uh, they hold up really well today. Yeah, totally. Totally. They're awesome. Tiny okay. So, but anyway, you cut me off again. Sorry. As usual. And it's just like, I'm going to, I know you're right in the middle of a thought, but I'm going to throw in my opinion, which is also going to take us in a completely different direction. <laughs> and uh, go back. I don't even remember what I was going to say now. Oh, man. Uh, just tell me to shut up once in a while. That'll be fun. <laughs> like, listen, I'm talking now. You shut your damn face. Oh, right, all right. Okay, yeah, like, Justice League and Justice League Unlimited were, yeah. uh, are, like, pretty much my favorite animated series. Um, then, uh, uh, what is it? Young Justice came out, which I was like, no, I don't care about this. I don't want these stupid little kid superheroes, but, uh, they're actually really good. Like, really good. Like, yeah, I heard it was really good. It wasn't quite the equal of, of Justice League, but it was... <laughs> it was really good. And uh, it got cancelled, I think, after the second season. And I was told the reason it was cancelled mm -hmm. was because the um, majority of the fans were women. And uh -huh. women don't buy action figures. Yeah, so that's true. So toy sales were down, so they didn't want to make any more of the show. That's that's a shame. I know that's ridiculous. Well, it's interesting to me that like the female viewership of what was traditionally male media has has vastly skewed in about in the last ten years. Where it used to be like you know 80, 80, 85 percent male is now like something like forty percent male viewership, and it's changed a lot of like a lot of anime. God, you're gonna are you gonna die? Uh, I'm uh. I absorb all his attacks oh, okay. as PP. All right, just gonna take a bit. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention for a while. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where the hell we are in the book. Um, but yeah, it's interesting to see the skew of that. But like, the, their buying habits are very different than a male buying habit. Makes sense. That's perfectly normal. Um, but it's it's changing the way funding for a lot of things happens because uh, you know if it comes through advertised revenue, like a lot of the time, cartoon series have been like toy sales, right? Like, you know. Like, oh, I want to make some toys. Make a cartoon about it, and then we'll sell more toys. And if that's not working, then there's no point in cartoons, I guess. Yeah. As far as, like, the big money makers are concerned. It's just a shame, because it's, it's not the toys that last forever. You know? Like, toy from 30 years ago doesn't really mean as much as the animated material from 30 years ago. It's still as important today, as far as, like, a piece of history goes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It isn't. It isn't though. I mean, like if you think about it, people will collect the action figures of like some old cartoons in the '70s and be like, "Oh, it's a collector's item," and it's like mm -hmm. it's part of my childhood and all this stuff, right? But like if you actually go back and watch that cartoon from the '70s, I'm sure even the collector and the crazy fan would be like, <laughs> "This show kind of sucks." Yeah. Well, I think of it. Damn, little... forty-four thousand experience, three levels. Nice. No. It's catching up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I see it a little differently because, like, I've, I, I know so many animators. So, like, when they're watching, like, some of these old crummy shows, they're not watching it because it's an old crummy show. They're watching it because, like, 
they animated differently back then. You know, looking at how they did that kind of stuff, like the special effects animation, like how they did that stuff in like late night, like late eighties, was like crazy, amazingly crazy, and it's just not something we see so much anymore. So, so like when when like a lot of animators don't necessarily get jobs animating for uh, cartoons and uh, movies anymore. They often end up like in game design and stuff. So we see like some of those special effects from like '80s and how they did that kind of animation show up in, like fighting games and stuff now, and it's really kind of cool. So I have no idea where we are. <laughs> we're in Mount Gulag. I can't find it. I what? feel like we're not supposed to be here. We are. <laughs> I'm sure we are. You just or I'm like way off or something. Yeah, you just started looking in the wrong place or whatever. Like, I knew where we were, and between this four and where we were, I can't find it. <laughs> oh, okay, I was one page ahead. Never mind. I give up. I figured it out. You were right. I started looking in the wrong place. Oh, man, I made a boo. <laughs> can't I go down? Uh, pull the uh, lever there. to descend into the well. Pull oh, it three times. Oh, look at us go. Oh, oh no. It's another one of these things. I don't want to do that. Nobody does. <laughs> I want more dialogue. I'm itching for some dialogue. I'm itching for somebody to say Kuja. 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 Ah! Two of them again. <laughs> oh, that's dangerous. Just beat them up. Beat them up with swords or something if similar. I can, if I can kill one of them before they get too many attacks off, then it's not, not such bad. a big deal. Yeah. They don't have too much health. That's good. It's just a matter of actually getting those attacks off. Okay, he's using... Nice magic attack on a fire sword. I wonder if they like cancel each other out. Huh. Or like did that actually do bonus ice? Are these things even weak against ice now that you found the page? Can you look that up? Uh, yeah, I can try. <laughs> oh, that's right. This one doesn't have a stinking beast here. I have to find Do you know what it's called? Red dragon. But it should just be on the page. It should no. just be like, and then you'll fight a red dragon. No. Well, I mean, it, no, it, it says what the boss is, and the boss is weak to mini, but it doesn't say anything about red dragon. The boss is weak to mini? Yeah, of all things. It's weird. Yeah. Uh, so let me try and find the red dragon. It doesn't matter, the fight's are, like over. Well, I need to know for myself. It is week two. It doesn't even tell me it's week two. Are you freaking kidding? This is the worst damn book ever. It doesn't say the weaknesses. To find the weakness, go online. Yeah, blah, seriously. Blah, blah, blah. Go, go back in time onto a website that no longer exists. I can't believe I paid money for this shit. <laughs> That's why it's, it's so funny. Like, whenever I borrow a game from you and you're like, oh, I got the book. Do you want the book too? I take it sometimes because, like, I want the pictures and stuff. But, like, it's just so much easier and more accurate and faster, it's just better in every way to just go to game facts. Yeah, nowadays. I mean, like, if I want to... It's Pickles! Koji on the Black Mage is there, too! Pickles! That must be an extraction spell! That was me. Cool. <laughs> Koja! <laughs> if I want to look up something in a book, I gotta find the right page, go go to the back to the... A Dolan of Infinite Power! power. power. Depart thy endless, endless weight! Let, Let there, there be, be life. life! Which one? I'm the red one, yeah? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. But if I want to go to the game facts, I just open a damn fact, control F, type a word. It's time, time is now. come! I don't feel like I'm doing that voice right. That's good enough. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, why is she here? Hmm. Yeah, you're here, mutie. That sounds like I'm saying Oops. mutant, not mute. Wait. Oops. Oh, that was, those were exclamation Oops. marks. We know how you feel, even though we can't hear you. I'm guessing that he feels that's right that time. All right, okay, let's go. Oh, 
Oh. There's more dialogue, and it's coming next time on Chris Any Place. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. And, uh, you know, stay frosty or something. Make mistake on Underdog. Yours the mistake must be. I made no mistake at all. Truth, do you speak? And I hate you sometimes. Of course I speak the truth. Will you two just shut up? It's it his fault. fault, it is. Shut up! You're Another the one, one who messed up. The one who messed up was you. Well, we got our lines messed up. <laughs> I said shut up. I don't want to hear any more excuses. I sense power from within her. Continue the extraction. Continuing further will endanger the subject's life. Only at the age 